This video is sponsored by Sony Creators App. Think that GIFs are just for memes? Think again. What if I told you that with just your Sony Alpha camera and your phone, you could create stunning, personalized GIFs that blow the generic stuff out of the water? Whether it's for your brand, your socials, or just for fun, I'm about to show you how you could turn simple video clips into shareable, fun, eye-catching GIFs that you'll love to use. But here's the best part. You don't need a ton of gear or hours of editing. I'll walk you through my quick studio setup, show you how I transfer clips to my phone using the Sony Creators app, and then turn those video clips into GIFs in a few simple steps. Let's do this. Step one, setting up your recording space. The environment that you film your GIFs in is important, and while some ideas may require you to film in different locations, I like the simplicity of recording mine using a simple backdrop at my studio. I have a variety of different colors and textures for my backgrounds, and oftentimes end up using different options to make them all look different. Most of the time I'm lighting myself using one large light source being softened by a softbox or an Okta, and then adding a little bit of fill with a white V-flat just to make sure that everything is nice and bright. The advantage of a setup like this is that I can record multiple GIFs in a short period of time, and I can be confident that they will all be well lit no matter the time of day. Step two, the gear. When it comes to shooting GIFs, I like to capture these using a proper camera and lens, which I'll explain more about shortly. For this setup, I'm using the Sony ZV-E10 II, and I've paired it up with a 10 to 20 millimeter F4 lens. Depending on your goals, you may want to use something different, but this setup gives me beautiful looking video in a lightweight, compact package. I have that camera set up on a small tripod. You could use whatever tripod you have handy, or you could even set the camera up on a stool or table if necessary, whatever it takes to get the shot. Step three, record. Now that everything is set up, it's time to start recording. I typically write 10 or so ideas for GIFs and recording myself doing each one several times just so that I can narrow it down to the one that I felt looked the best. Some of these ideas require using props, so make sure that you have those nearby so that you can use them when necessary. The main goal here is to have fun. If you're enjoying your time recording this and allowing yourself to just be silly, it's going to make your GIFs that much more enjoyable to watch. Step four, transfer. Since I recorded these clips using a Sony camera, I'm going to transfer them to my phone using the Creators app. I made a separate video talking all about it, but one of the many features that I love to use it for is to remotely control my camera. But this time I'm going to use it to transfer the video clips that I just shot over to my mobile phone. The best part is that I can transfer those videos without losing any quality. The app is free to download for Android or iOS, so make sure to install it if you're using a Sony camera. With that said, I transfer these video clips over to my phone and then play some of those clips back slowly to see which specific moments that I want to turn into a GIF. Now that I've narrowed one down, let's go to the next step. Step five, make the GIF. There are several apps in the Android and iOS store, but since I'm on Android, I'm using an app called video to gif I like this one mainly because of the ability to not only trim the video clips, but to change the speed and the resolution. Once I've trimmed the exact part of the video that I want to turn into a GIF, I save the clip into various resolutions. Keep in mind that when you want to share these online, the higher resolution GIFs do take a little bit longer to upload, and it sometimes takes longer to play back on that other person's device. That's why I'll often choose one of the lower resolution options just so that they upload and they play a little bit faster when using them online. However, having a high quality camera and a lens setup means that you could use those same clips within your videos if you're a content creator. Now, I typically don't add text to my GIFs, but if you'd like, you can add those in most of the built-in photo editors that are on your phone. Some of the GIF creation apps might also have that as an option too. With that said, I'd love to hear which are your top favorite gifts of all time. 
Let's hear it in the comments so we can have some additional ideas when we start recording. Also, if you're a Sony user, remember to download the Creators app so you can enjoy the benefits today. I'll have that linked in the description. I mentioned that I had a video about the app, so I'll add that to the screen now for you to check out, and I'll see you there.